All right, Aries, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for January 29th through February 4th of 2018. All right, so this week we have a lunar eclipse on Wednesday. This is in your fourth house of home, of family, and for some of you, your health as well. So great time to do a status check here this week, particularly with anything that's been uh, developing here over the past six months since the, since the last set of eclipses. So now uh, pivoting, shifting, maybe shifting direction to the life path based on this information that we are gaining or this insight that we are gaining here this week. And also a culmination of some things as well, if there has been anything particular in this area. So uh, we have some sign changes. Your ruler is going into Scorpio, your eighth house. So right off the bat, at the beginning of the week, maybe feeling a bit motivated to connect to the deeper side of life, uh, maybe matters pertaining to shared resources, depth and intimacy, uh, shifting this week and uh, some aspects with the south node a good week for bringing some things back into balance so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return all right so as a reminder this is uh this reading here is for sidereal astrology if you are new to the channel be sure to check out that link down below we are using the actual size of the constellations which does change the signs from mainstream astrology also an announcement too i am going to be taking a break from the weeklies for a bit um, i am still going to be doing the dailies but i do need to take a bit of a break uh, from the weeklies for a bit a lot of you know that i've been uh, doing the weeklies for the past like four years so I just kind of need to t get some perspective take a little bit of a break uh, but I should be back to doing them I'm sure um, in the near future all right so let's take a look at this week though we do have Mars going into your eighth house so right off the bat on Monday you may have been feeling this last weekend the shift of now feeling a little more motivated towards the deeper values of life some of you may be getting into uh, healing at this time over these next probably about month and a half here, um, getting into uh, transformation, facing some fears, right? Some of you maybe matters pertaining to shared resources could be emphasized this week and vulnerability as well, right? It's also eighth house when it comes to relationships, which are expanding for you with Jupiter there in that seventh. So also at the beginning of the week, Venus does go over the south node gearing up for the lunar eclipse suggesting that there might be some values you're bringing back into balance um, that is in regards to your career i think it's a fantastic week for still focusing on your productive life your achievement successes uh, but really bringing this area back into balance is the theme of the year so in this case maybe there's some values you're letting go of some old values here early part of the week that can help bring some balance to this uh, productive sector of your chart now wednesday lunar eclipse in your fourth house culmination and also status check all right so if you've started anything new on your path roughly about six months ago involving your home or your location or family or your health uh, this could be the high point of it great time to do that status check see how things are going here you're going to notice some things developed some things did not so it's a great week for continuing to cultivate what has worked, what has developed for you and start to implement a lot of the insights uh, that I think you will have fundamentally about your roots here and your personal life this week. All right. So once we get to about um, Thursday, Mercury does go into your 10th house. So I think your your mind will go into more of the, again, productive sector. Maybe some of you getting involved with communication in your careers a little bit more thinking a little bit more about it, maybe solving some problems, fi fixing some things involving that could be the theme for the coming weeks with Mercury shifting into the 10th. So over the weekend, then we have the sun going over the south node. So again, this bringing back into balance. If there are any unhealthy patterns just in general in your life, uh, but again, maybe through the theme or the area of, um, of career, great week to bring some balance back to this great weekend to do that um, as well now over the weekend mercury is sextiling up to your ruler mars so there is this bit of uh, very good i think inquisitiveness over the weekend could be a good weekend for communication in general uh, just willing to learn share that kind of thing maybe a bit of uh, opportunity with your work or your routine 
and Venus does square up to Jupiter from the 10th house. So this integration of like I was saying, there are opportunities with relationships for you to learn about relationships mostly here in 2018. And so maybe this weekend could be a theme with that. Uh, maybe some opportunities to connect, opportunities to enjoy some one-to-one -one connections, maybe partnerships, things like that. And just watch any extremes, I think, with the square, just so there's no over or under emphasis with that area. And also watch any extremes, too, with finances or values or enjoyments, if you are feeling that with the square. All right, so Aries, that's the week in a nutshell. Most importantly, midweek is the heightened uh, part of this uh, both month and uh, lunar eclipse cycle. So great to allow that insight to come in, implement. This is a pivoting time where through this insight, you can shift direction and start to continue to cultivate this very important part of the chart, which is your roots, your foundations, and your personal life. All right, so Aries, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next daily forecast. Take care.